Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge that many developers encounter when working with Entity Framework. Our viewer has a question about translating a SQL insert statement into Entity Framework code. Let's break down the question. The viewer wants to replicate a SQL query that inserts multiple rows into a database table using Entity Framework. The original SQL query selects data from another table and inserts it into the target table, but the current Entity Framework implementation only inserts a single row. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To translate your SQL insert statement into Entity Framework, we need to understand how to insert multiple records at once. In your SQL query, you're selecting data from another table and inserting it into your target table. In Entity Framework, we can achieve this by first retrieving the data we want to insert and then adding all the records to the context before saving changes. Let's start by modifying your insert method. Here's how you can implement this. First, fetch the records from TBL language settings that meet your criteria. Then, create a list of TBL list department objects and add them to the context. Finally, call this new method with the appropriate parameters to insert multiple rows in one go. This approach ensures that all relevant records are added to your database efficiently. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To translate an insert into a select statement using Entity Framework, start by adding the necessary using directive for Entity Framework Core. Then, you can execute a raw SQL command with the execute SQL command method. Here's an example SQL command. It inserts data into the tblist department table by selecting from tbl language settings while excluding a specific lang syscore ID. Finally, execute the command with the appropriate parameters, ensuring to replace placeholders with actual values. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.